Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is a patient who was born in 1972. They have complaints of medial sided pain and swelling and at no recent history of injury. And on this MRI, we see an obvious finding here on the medial side. We see a big, complex septated fluid collection over the medial joint line. This is the medial collateral ligament. It looks kind of thick and it surrounds the MCL. It's not ruptured, but it goes in the front. There's the MCL and behind it. And if we look here in the underlying meniscus, we want to see, is this cyst coming from the meniscus? If it is, we're going to call it a big perimeniscal cyst. If it does not come from the meniscus or the meniscus is stone cold normal, then we might call it a ganglion cyst or maybe even think about a synovial cell sarcoma. But here we do see this abnormal signal within the meniscus, this globular, mildly expanded meniscus body. We don't really see clear articular surface extension, but we do see if we go to one of these views here, there we go, looks like it does weep out and communicate with this. So this is a meniscal cyst with a perimeniscal cyst. And so these patients we theorize have a, if they're younger, they have a, a injury with shear forces, mechanical shear forces that cause a horizontal type tear. And in that tear, the fluid will weep out. It'll form a fluid collection within the meniscus called a meniscal cyst. And if it does contact the outside or capsular surface here, it'll um, go outside and along the path of least resistance here and form these medial perimeniscal cysts. You can also get lateral ones, but uh, they're about twice as common on the medial side as the, than the lateral side. And again, usually the meniscus has this horizontal signal within it. Oftentimes it does not contact the superior or inferior articular surface. It only contacts the capsular surface here. And often again, the meniscus is expanded because that fluid fills up that space, expands the meniscus, and then again, it does break through and fills up the perimeniscal cyst. So this is again a classic case of a horizontal tear of the medial meniscus in this patient probably from prior trauma with the shear forces and also this large complex perimeniscal cyst. Now in older patients they have these horizontal tears and they're more related to degeneration of the meniscus and weakening and they get these horizontal cleavage type tears. They can also have perimeniscal cysts associated with them. And luckily this patient had no other findings the ligaments were intact, there's no arthritis, so just a horizontal tear, uh, intrasubstance tear of the meniscus with this large perimeniscal cyst. And that's it, so thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.